If we look at the spinal nerves that are leaving in this region, starting from C5 and going to C6, C7, C8, and T1, you'll notice that these spinal nerves are much bigger than either the cervical spinal nerves above or the thoracic spinal nerves below. And also notice that these fibers are doing a lot of interweaving. So at this point we refer to these fusion points as the superior trunk right over here, the middle trunk, and the inferior trunk. But then the interweaving continues as we go further out. And then what happens is that we have what are called cords as we go further out. And this, this cord right over here is going to be the lateral cord. And this one back over here is going to be the posterior cord. And this one right over here is going to be the medial cord. This plexus here is the brachial plexus. The nerves that are going to supply the upper limbs, the arms, are within this plexus. These rootlets right over here that are forming a spinal nerve from here to about over here, and so this would correspond to a spinal segment that's forming that spinal nerve. Notice that this part of the spinal cord is larger than what is above and what is below. This region over here is called the cervical enlargement. And the reason that this is bigger makes a lot of sense when you consider that these spinal segments, C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1, are all going to be the origin of the nerves which are going to supply innervation for the arms.